In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you a simple trick or two to take three standard horizontal films and have them share the space on one screen at a time, where each one takes up a third of the screen. The problem with doing this is that they're not filmed for this, and so you have to do more than simply crop them. We'll show you the problem and we'll show you how to fix it. But before we do, let's go ahead and look at the finished product. So the first step I'm going to do is take this ocean picture with the sunset and we're going to go ahead and cut it a third of it out and then keyframe it. We'll show you why. When I go ahead to play this particular clip, notice where the sun is relative to the entire video. So I start to play it and it starts about two thirds over from the left and then the camera moves and the sun is on the left side and it kind of stays there. So this would be a problem if all we do is cut the center third out. We have to do more than that. So with that clip highlighted, I'll click on my tools and I'll go to power tools. Then we're going to go to crop and zoom. And it requires I take a little more space over here and click on the crop and zoom button. Now one of the things I need to do is right now I have this in thirds which is really nice. We're going to click on the freeform button on the right side and then we're going to shrink this to approximately the middle third. We can fudge this a little bit later if we need to. Now the problem is, if I go ahead and play this, that the sun will move out of frame. And that's not we want to, what we want to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe that. So we have a keyframe at the beginning. And now well, that's close enough. We'll click over here. And now the sun is here. So we're going to click on the diamond with the plus at the bottom and add another keyframe. So we take our little blue marker and we're going to drag to the left so the sun is a little more in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's where it will be. Now let's, let's go to another point in time. Click here, and we'll add another keyframe. And now we're going to move a little more in our adjustment. Now we'll click over here, and that looks pretty good. This moment in time is fine. This one's fine, and this one's fine. So now, if I look at my preview over here, when I go ahead and play this, what I see in the preview is that even though the sun moves a little bit, it still does not move out of frame for a third of the picture. So I'll click on OK. So now I have one of my segments. I can take this particular element here, double click on it, and go ahead and move this actually to the left third of the screen and click on OK. And now I have a third of my project done. We'll do the same thing on the road. Drop that on the second track and we'll highlight it. We'll click on Tools, Power Tools and go to Crop and Zoom and click on the button. And now let's see what we have here. We're going to go back to freeform and we'll shrink it down to approximately a third. And then we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like. Does the road stay in the center at different places in time? It's moved a little off here, so I'll add a keyframe by clicking on the diamond again. And we'll just nudge it a little bit this way. And we'll move farther over. And I'd like it a little more centered. 
we'll go over here and we'll add another one that looks okay over here not too bad we'll click over here maybe I want to add one at this point in time a little bit move over in this location not too bad move over this time and we'll add one just for fun there just center it a little more we'll go to the end and uh, let's add one near the end move the blue dot a little bit to the left okay and now if I look at my preview window here as I click on the first diamond to go ahead and play it we see the road being largely in the center of the frame even though it's a third of the normal width and so that's not too bad so we'll click on OK and now we have this one here and we don't have to move it it was in the third then we go ahead and do the same process with the last one and I won't repeat that I think you've got the uh, technique down and now that I have all three done we'll go ahead and attempt to play them and you'll see that each of them has the focus point where you want even though it's cut out of a much larger uh, video and you can go ahead and add your titles add your music let me give you one more tip before we go there's another technique you can do if you want a slight area of black or another color between the particular movies you can highlight any of them and then when you have it highlighted you could slightly narrow the width but if you're not careful it will also change the height so before you do that you can I would recommend double clicking on the image and making sure that you have maintain aspect ratio turned off so my height is still a hundred percent but now I can scale the width either by using my mouse or if I want to be very precise I can change the number on my scale width so if I want a slightly uh, a smaller black area here I might change this to 3.3 .3, and I can just experiment it to see how wide I want the black to be likewise I'll click on the first image here and we'll go ahead and I uh, I'm gonna double click on it turn off maintain aspect ratio and I can try to change it with the mouse and if I'm not happy with the number, if I think I want to be a little more precise, go over here. Maybe this would be a 3.27. And uh, I can adjust it accordingly so you can have bars between them. And so now you can tweak it until you get something appropriate. You can also do this, this if you've made one of the panels too small and slightly enlarge it. But I recommend keeping the vertical aspect uh, ratio at 100% and just changing the horizontal.